Hey everybody, I just want to give you a little bit of an update on the video that you're going to be watching shortly. Uh, if you watched our last video, we said that we'd sold our Bailey Senator and we were buying a new caravan, which we have done. We picked a caravan up, managed to get away in it for a very, very brief time. Uh, and then unfortunately things started to move very, very quickly with regards to caravan sites shutting down. We ourselves have had three three planned holidays now cancelled which were between now and June um, a couple of them at caravan and motorhome club sites and another one at a private site over on the east coast they've all decided to take the uh, the right action and shut down until further notice because of the uh, coronavirus uh, issue so the caravan has now been winterized put back into storage and it will sit there until we uh, can all get back out on the sites so this video is uh, just giving you a little bit of a tour around the caravan and I uh, hope you enjoy it and stick with us while we're going through this period of not being able to get out in the caravans. Thanks. New to us, caravan. Yeah, well new to us, but yeah. Our Swift Elegance. Yeah, so it's a Swift Elegance 580. It's got a uh, transverse island bed. I think in the last video I said it got a fixed bed, which wasn't quite right, but uh, a bed's a bed, as far as we're concerned, and we've got a bed this time, haven't we? Yeah. So, so the exactly yeah. the idea of this video is that we're going to give you a little show around the new caravan. We did the last video where we was doing a show around the Bailey Senator that we were sadly getting rid of. We loved that caravan. We only had it for a short time, but it was great, wasn't it? Yeah, it was six months. We only had it. So Cameron's going to uh, give a tour of this caravan shortly. Yeah, and, I'm uh, going to show you the inside. I'll show you the outside. And I'm just going to do nothing i don't think this time so it'll be great and <laughs> we'll cool. have a rest <laughs> Bad so, <time>. yeah <laughs> so we've uh, we picked this caravan up on wednesday and as you may be able to see out of the window this is now saturday and we are on a caravan site and we had a conversation about whether we were going to go out today is the 20th is it 20th today yeah yeah 20th. so today's the 20th of march mm -hmm. And obviously with everything that's going off around the world, we had to make a decision, shall we go out or shan't we go out? Obviously we were excited that we picked the caravan up, so we wanted to go out, but we were obviously aware of the situation and thinking, well, should we stay in? Um, but what we did is we contacted the site where we are, had a word with them with regards to whether the site was still open, uh, and they are still open, the toilet blocks and everything are still open. They do have a cafe here on site, but that is closed apart from takeaway. Uh, but they with said no. Cafe. With a cafe you do have to um there's like a dispenser what you have to go in and wash yeah, your hands, clean your with hands which before is, you even which is enter good. the ca cafe which is really good so and then you have to basically stand aw just away from the counter they've boarded all the tables and chairs off so you can't go and sit in so it's a case of you go in you, you get what you want in and then you go back out They've made it as safe as they, as they can, as, yeah. as safe as they it can is get, safe, it, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, and we we thought, well, if we were at home, we'd be at home isolating for the weekend, but we'd probably have gone out, done a bit of shopping and everything, and then we thought, well, if we come away in the caravan, we're going to be isolating ourselves in the caravan. We're on a campsite in a 7.5 by 2.3 box in the middle of a field, and we're I not having anything to do with mm. anybody else, are we? Although mm. caravan is a social activity, we've not mm. we've not been out, and we're not talking to people. We're just enjoying our caravan and our own company aren't we and doing our own thing so whether we get out in it again is another matter we'll we're just going to review it on a daily basis and make a decision but the site said no come along we're taking all precautions so so long as you take the precautions that you need to do everything should be all right and we're making sure that we stick to all the precautions that we need to aren't we and i actually feel should... safer here yeah, than i do at um, home it's a really? hot mm. topic, isn't it? Should we, shouldn't we? But as I said, we'll we'll decide later whether we're going to take it out again in the future. But for this one, it's it's we were excited to fetch it out, and and, and we're here, and we're keeping ourselves isolated from everybody yeah. else. So yeah. so it's not too bad. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we well, got a new caravan. Yeah, we got a caravan. It was a bit of a surprise, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, we 
before I even start giving you the tour, I have actually got to explain to you how the, we actually got this caravan. Well, um, last week we actually took the caravan out, and um, in our uh, when we in our storage place, they have got like a sales site. So we took the caravan out, put the caravan back, and I like I said to Chris, so we just look around these caravans because I'm a woman. And, women, and you know what women are like. They love to look round like caravans and houses and everything like that, just for a nosy. Not to buy, just to have a nosy. Yeah. <laughs> that's so, where you, that's, that was the first mistake that you made, though. That's where you started. So you anyway, started the mistake. Anyway, well, it's not a mistake, but you started it all. Yeah, okay. Whatever, Chris. Right. Anyway, so we goes round all these lovely caravans, looking at them, and we went into, well, actually, we went into this caravan. And uh, we walked in, and I, I actually I walked in, and I went, "Wow, oh, this is absolutely gorgeous! Oh, it is lovely!" And Chris said, "See, yeah, we did get a feeling straight away, don't we? Yeah, we did. We you, got that you get, feeling. Yeah, you get a feeling. We always find that if we're buying a caravan, we sit down in it, have a look around, and just sit and think. Sit. Just sit. How does it feel? And it felt mm, right it straight did. away, didn't it? It, did. it was one of them that just called out to us and felt yeah. right. So, mm. anyway, <laughs> so." We what, went away. As you nothing, do. yeah, nothing said. At we just said, right, we'll take the name, the model. We did say we'd like to have a caravan like this in the yeah. future, though, didn't we? So yeah. if we were going to change our caravan in the future, yeah. and it was the future when we changed yeah, it. Yeah, a couple of years we, down the future, Chris. You never said. You never put a timeline on it. You just said yeah. this is the sort of caravan that we'll have in the future. Yeah. In that okay. six months. Well, in the future, she said. That's Not all six that's months, all it was going to be like years down okay. in the future. Anyway. You should have been more specific. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so it were basically forgotten, took name, model, said this is what we're going to have in the future. And to me, I thought that was the end of it. Anyway, come the next day, which was from Monday, I get a phone call from Chris saying, um, cars, very, very sheepish like, cars... Um, I know he's asked you please because he calls me Kaz when he's doing, you know, when he, he's done something wrong. Anyway, so he goes, Kaz, um, I um, think I've accidentally bought a caravan. And like me, I'm saying, what do you mean you think you've accidentally bought a caravan? Well, I have bought a caravan. And I went, what? <laughs> and he went, I, well, I have bought a caravan. And I said, I said Accidentally. Well, yeah, well, accidentally, yeah. And I said, have you accidentally bought a caravan? And it was a case of, well, I, I, I've, just, I've just bought this caravan. And it was a case of, well, what caravan have you bought? And he said, well, you know that one that you fell in love with? I bought that one. Well, as, as you can tell, I thought, I'm absolutely ecstatic. I thought, oh, brilliant, he's bought this caravan and it's lovely. And... I, I fell in love with it, but then I'm saying, is he having me on? Because it were a lot of money, and it's like, I'm saying, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me that you actually bought this caravan? And he says, yeah, yeah, I bought you this caravan. I know how much you loved it, and I bought it for your birthday. Uh-huh. Which is like, it was Two days birthday. later, it was good timing. Yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah, I bought it for your birthday, so I thought, brilliant. Huh? This. He's bought it for my birthday. Yeah, it's a present. Yeah, a present. I think it was just one way of just not buying me a present. This actually. is a present. This yeah. is a present. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, Chris is so decisive. He's unbelievable. He just he, he just goes and buys what he wants, just like he bought his cadet. Yeah. I had to actually borrow him from the... Caravan accessory shops, yeah, aren't you? Caravan I, accessory I, shop. I, can you be banned from a caravan I accessory shop? I did get banned from a caravan accessory shop. Yeah, I did. Because we were just going out and buying things we that we needed. We didn't need it. We didn't need a bag for what is it? A water book for thing or whatever. No, you need a bag. Yeah. So you that don't when need you, a bag. You do because when you finish with it, you put it in the bag, bag and then it can sit there oh, and it's nice yeah. and neat. So you need a bag. Yeah, everybody. Oh, you need bags. Stupid little tiny things. This old as a bit and I mean to hold things and to tie we, things down. We it's bought a tie. Yeah. They were all definitely useful things. But I definitely got banned from it, but but you never banned me from buying a caravan. You you banned me from the caravan accessory shops, not the caravan sales shop. Mm. 
And that's what I accidentally tripped into and said, oh, have I signed when I was falling? No, you didn't trip it was almost like, It no. was almost like that. It was almost, no, like, that. It was almost <laughs> like that. Yeah. What that's what, that was the accidental part. But you love it, anyway. You've got a nice yeah, new I caravan. Do, yeah, I do love it. So yeah. here you go, your caravan. Well, but as I was saying, he went and he actually... Uh, I, did you accidentally, uh, like, buy a Kadak? Yeah, we've... Millions no, of pieces no, I to intended it. to buy the Kadak. I accidentally bought all the accessories for it. If you've not seen the video about the Kadak, you'll be able to see all the accessories. Uh, I did Every say though, I did say though that the one. salesperson saw me coming, and it was like end of last season when I bought it, and it was a case of here, here comes one now. Let's just sell him that bit, sell him that bit, sell him that bit. But whatever we need to make, we've got it, haven't we? Ready? So it's, it's that's a result. The worst thing about it, we could never ever fetch him or to caravan because the caravan won't move with every single one no we just every have to decide what we're going to be eating that weekend we'll and probably fetch the part for it but at least we've got a lot of variables that we can consider mm. so there we go anyway you know i'm just wanted to put this point here you know how you've actually bought this caravan yeah and you say it's my birthday does this mean your birthday present yeah my birthday present right does this mean that this caravan is entirely mine? Entire? Well, it's yeah. not entirely All yours. of it is mine because it's my birthday present. So this no, means no, 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 this no, caravan no. is second. mine. No, because let's say, for instance, I bought mm. you a trip to Paris for your birthday, right? Although you'd have been to Paris, Paris wouldn't then belong to you. You'd have a memory of it and you'd have part of it that you think, I own this little part, this memory that you keep forever, but you wouldn't own Paris. So I'm going along that same sort of principle that it's our caravan collectively, even though I give it you for your birthday. So part of it, part of it's yours. Yeah. So which part is mine then? Well, part of it. You don't need to be specific. So... If you said part of this caravan's mine, which part is mine then? What, like name a part? Yeah, name a you part. You want the part named, right. Um, a, a good bit. What, that's yours for you to keep forever and you think this is mine and keep your hands off it and it's mine? Yeah. Yeah. All right then. For your birth... Right, in that case, the part that is going to be yours forever to keep that you can tell everybody it belongs to you and it's nothing to do with Thomas, nothing to do with me. Yeah. Uh, toilet cassette. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. <laughs> right. <laughs> Have you looked at how much toilet cassettes are? They're expensive bits they are, of kit. They? That's not like a £3.99 <laughs> box of roses or a packet of flowers from Garage. Right, toilet kits are expensive. I'm speechless. Ali, oh, Ali, oh, I'm right, sorry, guys, but I just, I can't no, get you that's, that's, that part <laughs> of this caravan is now completely yours. Thomas, nothing to do with the yeah. toilet set from now on, right? We'll no, use it. I never use it. But we'll not be owners of it. it. So from now on, that's your. That toilet cassette, it's like... What am I going to do got, with it? It's, it's got like fun. a pull-out handle. It's got little wheels on it. You can take it for a walk. Like just round there, there's like an emptying dog. point where you can take it and empty it. Every so often, you can like <laughs> trot round if you want, walk around the campsite with it, have a chat with it. It belongs to you. We haven't got any pets. Treat it as a pet. Name it. I'm, I'm just lost for words. Call I really it. am. I'm proper husband material, mate. Are you sure I'm, about yeah, that? I really am. I was a good catch. And you should oh, be, yeah, I, you're right. Good catch. I know you, that, I know you're great. I know that you're great. I know that you're Thank grateful. You. Don't, don't go on about it. You'll make me feel as though like I'm spoiling you too much. So mm. that part's yours. Anyway, I think we should leave it at that. You're grateful, and get, No. <laughs> I should, should I be? Yeah. Turn it cassette. They're expensive bits of stuff. Yeah. They're expensive. But moving on. Do you want to show everybody around? Yeah, I think we're going to get into that. Yeah. 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 So let's have a look at what we've got. Okay then. Right. Hi guys, I'm going to show you around our new caravan. Right. First of all, we're in the lounge area. Right. We've got eye gloss uh, lockers, which with chunky angles. They're really, really lovely. These really chunky angles. And we've got uh, sunroofs. Uh, we've got speakers and this is another sunroof hecky roof light a necky roof light on here we've got the front lockers doors eye gloss they are with also these eye gloss lockers 
we've got um, the underneath lockers so to put all like your bedding and everything and as you walk in we've just got one door the two doors it's just one complete door with the bin in it and then we've got another cupboard where you put your shoes in and then a drawer on top of that where you put your accessories in and then there's your fridge your fridge um, and on top of your fridge you've got a cooker drawer and also another drawer and another drawer and well cupboard with a pull out rack and then, and then there's your cooker with your electric hob and your four rings no your three rings sorry and your grill and your oven and then there's a underneath locker for your like your pans and your little accessories and then there's your overhead cupboards for like your with your plate rack and whatever else you decide to put in it with this it has got a very nice solder where you can put your your fire extinguisher and uh, your vegetable oil yeah tell them about what i said about fire extinguisher and vegetable oil positioning i'm not saying that well i'm going to tell everybody because <sighs> when i first put these on here i put the fire extinguisher at the front and the oil at the back and Cameron says, well, it'd be better with the oil at the front. And I said, well, it depends who's going to be cooking. Because if you're going to be doing any cooking, we probably need the fire extinguisher at the front. But we'll see how we get on with that, won't we? You're never, ever going to let that pizza incident down, are you? No. I nearly set the, I nearly set the um, caravan on fire, actually. And I really did. But that is... On, uh, I don't want to talk about that. Definitely another story. <laughs> anyway, I'll go back to this. Right. We have got switches on here. Uh, we've got light switches and two sockets, electrical sockets. And then you've got your tap with your hot and cold water and your sink with... Uh, we have got another rack, which is your draining rack. What well, just fits on. And it's holded in... Uh, we hold it in the one of the wardrobes. Um, what I do actually like about this caravan is it's got hot water all the time. You don't ever have to uh, put um, um, a heater on to warm the water up. It's just constantly hot water all the time. Oh, I have forgot, before I forget, we have got two, two electric sockets here and light and uh, a USB. Yeah, USB socket, which is handy, isn't it? Yeah, it's very handy. And uh, I don't know what that's for. What's that's that for? for like a 12 volt supply for a TV. If we were putting the TV on 12 volt yeah, supply, which we won't it. use ourselves. Well, we might change that one out, to be honest. We were talking about it, weren't we? And said, mm. perhaps we'll take that one out and put another USB socket in or something. Mm. We have also got uh, lights either side of there. Yeah, the lighting is fantastic, isn't it? What it we'll is. do, I think, when it gets darker later, we'll do another, perhaps another minute of uh, a video that we'll just add on to the end to show mm. the night mood lights that we've got, which are which are fantastic in this caravan, aren't they? And we've got some spotlights, quite a quite four spotlights actually. We've got one there, one there, and they can be moved, so you you can have them whatever position you want them on. And there's like another one there and another one there. They're dimmable as well, aren't they? So yeah, you can they turn them up, turn them down. To oh, suit. Never know they were dim, you know. Yeah, we learn something every day, you see. Yeah, I know. You've, you've gained a toilet cassette and now you're learning that you've got <laughs> dimmable lights. Yeah, okay. And then there's your control panel up here. And I've got a clue what these are for. What are these for? Uh, smoke and oh, smoke uh, carbon monoxide detector. And a carbon monoxide detector. Detector, sorry. And then you've got a drinks cabinet here. Move down and have a look. Oh, wine and wine glasses. You haven't got no wine or wine glasses yet. It's also got some sockets here to plug in your TV, your TV point, and uh, 
two sockets there and another one of them 12 volt things yeah and i'm not sure what this is what's this <laughs> sorry guys uh, that's your uh, aldi water uh, central heating system yes yeah, central, so central heating system controls the central heating system which in this caravan is super fantastically hot it's the first time we've had proper central, central heating, heating into it, it and it's absolutely fantastic it really is sometimes they're a little bit too hot <laughs> right we are in the bedroom now there as you can see an island bed right this i this island bed pulls right out very very easy to pull out you just pull it out and in the back uh, this like an addiction to a mattress and you just push it down there and then you've got your four light extension right. push it back right what i actually like about this bed is it is very long when it's fully pulled out and it's definitely long enough it's six foot is it six foot two i'm not sure but it's long enough it for is, us definitely it's long enough we don't for hang out at the end of it i'm all right with this little bed i don't even need it pulling out because i'm that small this will do me anyway what i like what i test for in a bed is is there enough room for chris to do his angel stretch no no no, no hang on a minute that's like stretching the muscles out no, ready for the day yeah this is what chris does in the morning he does angel stretch and i'm getting battered and then it turns over and it go it don't just turn over it hooks itself over like this right and i go ping so i have to make sure the mattress is firm enough for a soft landing for me <laughs> anyway forget about that don't everybody do that no oh, okay don't. Then. anyway so it's got plenty of room for that that is definitely because this mattress is a duvalet yeah, mattress it's so soft, and yeah, it is so, nice. so soft for, for my soft landings right moving on to this there is a locker wardrobe locker on this side and also a cupboard this cupboard goes really really far back you can fit anything in the bottom cupboard it is really long it looks very small but it goes back forever doesn't it it really does, it does. And then there's the wardrobe on the other side. As Chris will show you. And then there's three drawers and like a locker at the bottom, which is quite big. And then you've got and then you've got your eye glass got gloss gas gloss lockers with shelves in, which are quite big. Sorry, Thomas. Come on. And then you've got your cabinet, which is got shelves in, so you can put your toiletries or whatever you want to. Mm -hmm. And then there's your, your your light switches, which switches on all different kinds of lights. And you've got another locker here. And then what I like about this caravan is all the little extra touches like this this is beautiful either side of the window and also on the door oh. as i was saying all the extra touches on the windows and on the door this is absolutely beautiful and it just it's just that added touch. just finish your touches into it, it oh nice. yeah it is it's got some beautiful touches and you can shut it it always right helps down. with the door that yeah <laughs> you can shut it right across across and it cuts it all out all the bathroom mat and it opens right wide up and then let's go into the bathroom so we right we are in the bathroom and there there's a big chunky tap with a, it's not a massive sink but it is adequate it's big enough and then you've got your bottom locker with cupboard we um chelsea you can fit your whatever you want in there it's got a really big radiator and you just throw out some of this radiator and then there's your toilet cassette now your toilet cassette's hidden but you see you're already 
like loving that toilet cassette, aren't you? You're mm. talking about it and telling people about it. I knew I'd done the right thing, I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, thanks, Chris. And you're blind, and then you've got all these cupboards, all these lockers, which are quite, quite spacious and you can fit all sorts in. You've got your speakers. Now, I like the idea in this. So when I'm in the shower, I can have a groovy dance like we all like to do and mm. a nice sing song. I'm so sure I'm looking forward to that because I love my music. Right, and then there's your shower. It's quite spacious in this shower. Don't go massive, but there's enough room to move around. And you've got your your, your little shelf to put your um, your shampoos and your conditioners and whatever. And then you've got the shower head. And this shower head, I've never ever seen anything like this shower head. It's got like an all in the middle. <laughs> well, it has. It's the little things in life, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And then you've got this pull down rack. I'm not going to pull it down because you can't it, can you? <laughs> no, I probably break it. It does pull. It, it yeah. pulls down just so you can hang your wet towels up, which is a good, good feature as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I will break it because I well, break everything. Like... And then with this, the door, like I said, I'm in the shower, and it's got plenty of room to just. There you go. So, this is the bathroom. So, I finished with the bathroom, and Chris, do you just want to have another quick look round? And then I think okay. we're done for the inside, anyway. So we're going to do a dance uh, tour now, so it's so windy, but first we, we've got a barbecue point, we've got the, um, what's that? Uh, it's a under cover, under seat locker. Oh yeah, under seat locker, electric, and under the bed, then the door's there to go in, it's like a different position. See, it's the other one. We put our van stand there for the wheels. Okay, move around to the back. We've got our back. We've got our back, we have. <laughs> <laughs> this is my mum because the toilet cassette. Yeah, your mum owns that one now, so we've got nothing to do with that anymore, yeah, Thomas. Don't don't it. mess with that. Leave that one. We've got our waist master. We've got a wheel locker thing where it is. We've got a um, electric thing where it is. Don't know what it is. Yeah, that's got the uh, leisure battery inside it and the electric point. Our, our water and. This thing is, is is for if you want to shower outside. <laughs> Don't know why you want that, but okay. Well, it might be to shower your dogs or wash your bike off instead. Yeah. And, and then a massive, massive front locker. So, thanks guys, thanks for joining us this time. Have a look around our new caravan. Uh, it's a little bit windy outside, isn't it, Thomas? So, yeah. <laughs> so we'll have to see how that turns out. But uh, if it's not right, well, uh, anybody who's got any questions about the outside, let us know and we'll do it all again, so. I hope you enjoyed our makeshift um, tour of the caravan. No, we don't, re well. <laughs> yeah, we don't really it, know much all... about it at the moment, but I'm sure we're going to learn in due course. Yeah, I think it was all right. Yeah. Uh, if you've not already subscribed, everybody, please uh, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification button. Uh, it will help us out and it'll enable us to do uh, a few more videos like this. And we look forward to uh, the next time. And if there's anything you want to know about this caravan, what we haven't shown you, just yeah, uh, drop us a comment. Yeah. And, uh, and we'll see what we yeah. can do to help out. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.